Hey guys, hope everybody's doing okay out there. Okay. This video is going to be another exposed video on a false teacher by the name of Michael Pearl. I don't know if anybody knows about this guy, probably. He's not a prominent uh, Grace Community teacher, basically. Sorry for the screen time out. But he's not like the teachers that I have been exposing, the ones that are undercover in the Grace community, like Charles Lawson, and then the other gentleman I did a video about, Drew Bloom, okay? This man is like, he claims grace, but he says you can lose your salvation, okay? I'm going to have to keep tapping this so it won't keep timing out, but he's like a Jimmy Swagger Ministries uh, person. How they believe, they say it's by faith, by faith, you say by faith, but if you stop believing, you're going to lose your salvation, okay? That's what he believes. He believes you can lose your salvation if you stop believing, okay? But I just want you guys to watch this video, and we'll see the spiritual wickedness and the double talk out of this man's mouth in this video that he makes, okay? You'll see he makes a comment about Armenians in the very beginning, and, you know, like a negative comment about Armenians, which, yeah, <laughs> Armenians are all negative. They all believe in losing salvation. And he makes a comment like he does not believe in losing salvation, but he does, okay? It's funny because he makes this negative comment, you know, and then he comes right back around, and this guy does leave, he does believe in losing salvation, but let's see his false interpretation of Hebrews 6, 4, 6, okay? He believes if you that you can lose your salvation, and if you lose your salvation, you can never get it back, okay? Let's just watch a few clips, okay? If I took the passage, Hebrews 6, 4 through 6, just took it out of its context, uh, then it would be a scary passage. You'd have to be a, what they call a Armenian. Uh, believe in the losing of your salvation, but if you take it in its context, it... okay, right there. What he just said, if I took it out of context, it'd be a scary passage. You have to believe in losing your salvation. Well, he does believe in losing salvation, so right there, he tries to make the viewers believe for a split second that he does not believe in losing salvation, but he does. This is double talk right here, straight out of the pits of hell, right, right in your face, right out, right out of the gates. He makes it seem like he doesn't believe in that, you know. It's funny, though. But just let's see what he says after this. Makes a whole lot of sense. It starts, the context actually starts in chapter 5. He says, uh, But strong meat belongeth unto them that are full age, who by reason of use have their senses exercised, discern both good and evil. Therefore, because strong meat belongs to those that are age, Leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works, faith toward God, and uh, doctrine of resurrection, baptism, laying on of hands, and eternal judgment. So he said, we he said we need to go on from from being a believer. We need to go on unto perfection, and from being a believer onto perfection. And what he's saying here is, you being a believer, you're not perfected. Okay. Like, you need to be perfected like uh, like salvation is a process or something, okay? He really strings it out here and starts explaining some things, and it's just crazy, you know, to see this and how he does this and everything. He tries to make it seem like salvation is a process, you know, you know, you got to go on to perfection. He doesn't understand. He's talking about maturity, okay? But anyways... Let's go on and see some more nonsense. Not lay again, and in that long list there, one and two, not lay again the foundations of the Christian faith, that is, not getting saved a second time. For this we do... You can't get uh, saved a second for, time. For it's impossible. That's the word for. For relates back to what he just said, one, two, and three. Uh, go on unto perfection, because for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and may take us the Holy Ghost. That's, it, take a, you look up the word tasted of the heavenly gift, uh, the Greek word there behind that, and you find that Christ tasted death for every man. You find the word taste is a full, complete taste. It's not something light and delicate. So taste of the heavenly gift is, is, uh, is to be consumed, to consume it. 
and were made partakers. Look up the word partakers, the Greek word behind it. You'll find that as a full See, partaker. he's preaching truth, partakers too. The Holy Ghost, that's a safe man. But he's mixing and lies. And tasted, again, the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. All false teachings. And that's clearly a description of a saved man. Yeah. I would say that because many people try to interpret that as not being a saved man. Someone almost got saved. So clearly he said, if you're saved, if you've had this experience and you're saved, don't relay the foundation of salvation. Why? Because it's impossible for those who are saved. To get saved again. Verse 5. You if cannot get saved twice. If they shall fall away, to renew them again unto repentance. Seeing they cre- He's interpreting fall away as losing salvation. Just let everybody know. Crucify themselves, Son of God, afresh, and put him in open shame. So what he said here is, I'm writing this to you who are full age, who fully grown up as Christians, not to you baby Christians. He said, because if you're really saved, don't relay your foundation. Go on and be perfect. Because if, if hypothetically, if you fell away, it would be impossible to renew you again under repentance. See? Basically. He's saying, if you lose your salvation, you can never get it back. And he believes in losing salvation. After he already made the comment about Arminianism, like he doesn't believe in losing salvation, okay? He makes you believe in the beginning that he doesn't agree with losing salvation. And then when he goes further into his video, you can see, and you can watch other videos of him, he does believe that you lose salvation if you stop believing. So he doesn't believe salvation is a one-time deal. He believes it's a process, and you have to, you're saved by your ability to keep on believing. And we know that's not the truth, okay? We know that's not the truth. It's false. I say, he who believeth on me has everlasting life. If you have everlasting life, you can never die again. If you lost your salvation, that would mean that you died spiritually. You can't die spiritually again. This is the ABCs and 123s. Let's listen to some more poison so we can decipher all this false nonsense. What he said is, don't get saved again. Go on and get perfect before God. You're perfect. Because okay. if you think you've lost it, I need to get saved again. If you think you lost it, you can't get saved again anyhow. See? Salvation is a one-shot deal. You can only get saved once. That's true. You can't get saved twice. That's true. If you got saved and lost it, it couldn't be renewed. Why? (laughs) If you did get saved, you're truly saved, you're on your way to heaven, you're forgiven, on what basis would you be saved? You'd be saved on the basis of Jesus Christ Christ died for you, bore your sins, and paid the full price. Now, if you were saved and you lost it, on what basis would you lose it? You can't. You'd lose it on the basis that you'd out that gift of atonement that Christ provided. So nope. you were saved for two years, isn't this hypothetical, theoretical? You were saved in a, for a period of two years based on the blood of Christ. Then you lost it because the blood of saved. no longer covers you anymore. So you go for one year not being saved or three months or two days without being saved. And you said, okay, I'm going to get saved again. And you go back to try to repent again. He said, can't happen. Because you would crucify to yourselves the Son of God afresh and put him in open shack. Christ would have to die a second time to provide a second atonement yeah. because you outsend the first atonement. You spent you spent the capital. He's adding lies time. with truth. You used it up. He paid for all your sins and you outsend all your sins. And so your first salvation began and two years later it terminated and it's no longer any good. So it's nonsense. Uh, you are now unsaved and cannot get saved again. This is a very good passage. See, I've used this many times. I've been it's on funny. Sorry I keep Rondell's tapping on that, guys. This is all I had to work with. But this man is teaching that you can lose your salvation after he already acted like he was disagreeing with at the beginning of the video. He says you can lose your salvation, and if you do, you can never get saved again. So if you stop believing, boom, that's it. You're done. And what's so sad about this video is that the end of it is horrible about what he says, okay? About his street preaching and people that come up to him that believe they've lost their salvation. He tells them, well, sorry, I can't do nothing for you. (laughs) And they're shocked. They're like, what? Well, why can't, you know, help me, please, you know? I mean, people are worried to death out there. We need to spread the eternal security gospel of Jesus Christ grace through faith. Okay? And he'll come up to a person and say, well, if you lost your salvation, I can't do nothing for you. See you later. It's just nonsense. Uh, are you saved? Well, I used to be, but I lost it. I said, well, that's too bad. I'm sorry I wasted your time. See? Turn around to walk off. Yeah. I said, wait a minute. Why are you walking off? I said, well, it's too late for you. 
See? What do you mean it's too late for me? I, I've been, I may get, I've been thinking about getting right and repenting. Well, it's too late. This man has the gall to tell a person, oh, you've lost your salvation? It's too late for you. And walk off. That's what we're dealing with today, guys. Nonsense, ridiculousness, retardation from the pits of hell. Okay? I know I was kind of contemplating about making this exposure video because this is just blatant in your face. This guy is not, you know, flying under the radar in the grace community. But I just, this made me want to vomit when I seen it. And I just wanted to make this video just for anybody who, you know, is worried. If anybody, I just wanted you to see the double talk of these satanic people, okay? They'll act like they don't believe something, and then they do believe it the whole time to get you hooked in, and then they'll just ruin you with this poison, okay? But this is Michael Pearl, false teacher. For you, it says right here, and I show them. It's impossible for those who once enlightened taste the heavenly gift, maybe, and so forth, if they shall fall away to renew them again to repentance. So it's impossible for you. You can't get saved again. <laughs> oh, well, maybe I didn't get saved, or maybe I'm still saved and just need to get right with God. Get what right with God. Either you never got saved. You got right with God when or you, are you saved believe the gospel. And repent and go on to perfection. But no case. Go on to perfection, the, the process of salvation. Never gotten saved twice. Much less three times or four times or five times. That's true. Christ would have to die three or four or five times. You say, then why did he put the passage in here? Going back on the context, chapter 5. He doesn't even know the context. It, getting six, reading the rest of the context. It's, it's, he's using it the same way I used it on the street. To scare he's people to death issue. into you giving up? you're getting saved a second time, let me tell you something. If you lost it, you couldn't get saved. <laughs> yeah. If you lost it, you couldn't get saved again. Okay. Well, that about wraps this video up. Total ridiculousness out of the pits of hell. But it's funny, the very beginning, he acts like he's against losing salvation. Well, this passage would pretty much scare you if you were an Armenian that believed you could lose salvation. Then he comes right back, and you can look at his other videos, guys. He does believe in losing salvation if you stop believing, okay? The same thing the swaggers believe. The same thing a lot of people that are deceived believe, okay? It's just ridiculousness. But anyways, guys... I have a video on Hebrews 6, 4 through 6, okay? It, it's speaking of a believer that's fallen away, gone out into the world, shipwrecked their faith, okay? And it's an eternal security verse for the believer because it says it's impossible to be renewed again after repentance. Why? Because you cannot make new something that's already been made new. You can't renew something that's already been made new. Once you get saved, you can't get saved again. Okay? If you fall away, fall away does not mean losing salvation. Okay? Falling from grace, when Paul talked about it, doesn't mean losing salvation. Okay? It means you're putting yourself back under the law. It's going to be hell on earth for you because you're going to be under the curse of the law, trying to obey and all these things. That's what I put myself under. After I got saved at a young age, I got deceived, went and, you know, tried to start keeping the Ten Commandments after I got saved to stay saved when I got deceived after that, okay? It's just, it's nonsense because Hebrews 6, 4 through 6 is an eternal security verse saying, hey, even if you fall away, you only get saved once. Fall away does not mean losing salvation. Fall away means... Like, if you fall back into the world, you're, Paul talked about your faith getting shipwrecked. So it's, it's, a, it's an awesome eternal security verse talking about, hey, no matter what happens in your life, even if you fall away, you get saved one time and you're eternally secure. Okay? Then there's the sin unto death. Okay? That the Lord could take you home before your time. All right? Just like the young man that was, you know, sleeping with his stepmother in the Corinth church. Okay? Uh, got delivered over Satan for the destruction of the flesh so that the soul may be preserved, okay? See, once you get saved, you can only get saved once, and it's eternal salvation. You can't get saved and lose it, or that was not eternal life, okay? And this is the ABCs and 123s of eternal security. Okay, you're either saved or you're not, okay? 
this man's preaching though that you can lose your salvation and if you do you can never get it back so you're done no hope for you and that's just crazy it's craziness out of the pits of hell but anyways guys it's funny y'all to see this it's comical it's sad it's it's heartbreaking how could you go up to a person and tell them well lost your salvation well sorry i wasted your time you have no hope that's insane okay and then you know he spices it up at the beginning of the video oh this would this verse would scare you if you believed in losing salvation but he does believe in losing salvation. it's just crazy guys but god bless everybody remember he who believeth on me hath everlasting life you pass from death unto life okay that's the moment you believe on christ you are saved eternally like that and you can never die again because what is it it's everlasting life it's forever Okay? If you could lose your salvation and die spiritually again, then it would not be everlasting life. It would be temporary life. Okay, This is what the people that <laughs> don't understand, they just can't get this through their head. Eternal security is eternal security. Okay, Hebrews 4 through 6. Hebrews chapter 4, 6. <clears throat> Sorry guys, got tongue tied for a second. This scripture in Hebrews... Hebrews 6, 4 through 6 is an eternal security verse, okay? For a believer that falls away, it says, hey, even if you did fall away, you can't get saved twice. You only get saved one time, okay? You need to remember, don't let a lying wolf in sheep's clothing deceive you like this, okay? No matter what you feel, if you truly believe on Christ, you are saved. Eternal, okay? God bless everybody and thank you and... Uh, Again, this guy, you know, most of us that's mature in the faith, we could see this from a mile away. I just wanted to make this video because I just it just made me sick watching this. How a man could tell somebody, well, you have no hope. You have no hope. It's just insanity, guys. Well, God bless everybody. and uh, Everybody, I hope you keep doing well, and thanks.